skateboards like from start, yeah. um, from when we started to, to now. Um, this is some of the some of the first shapes we made. We're 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 getting we're trying to get really creative, just make making different. Um, you know, trying to bring back some of the '80s weirdness. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's a lot of work. You know, it's, yeah, it's it's a lot of work. But these are more like this is more kind of like our art wall. But it also shows like a little bit of our evolution too of when we first started. Um, this is like some of our first shapes. Just we, we, we like smaller boards, but mm -hmm. this is some of our first shapes. Um, this is one of our more recent shapes that we made just for kind of a cruiser board. This reminds me of like some blockhead board from 90 or 91 yeah. or something. Yeah, Luke made that. He's like, he's been making a lot of like, we both, I mean, we both grew up skating, skateboarding, so yeah. obviously our, our, uh, our influences are from from way back, mm -hmm. um, and then some of this stuff is just like our friends who are illustrators or artists. Um, like we did a we did a video with Monster Children. It's kind of like a board we did mm -hmm. with Luke Drew of like some Monster Children. <laughs> uh, so our friend Mel Cadell, she's an art uh, an illustrator. She made this board. I made this one with a saw. Um, this is like barn siding on the side of a board. This, wow. this, this, this one right here, like you can actually see that black mark and that black mark. No, that's from that's from train tracks. Wow. So it's it's actually like from a from a um, from a railway depot where they stacked train tracks mm -hmm. inside to get put in before they're put in. They stack them in this warehouse, and they're probably on there for a couple years before they go out. But the but the, it oxidized and and this is like literally this skateboard's like a side of a barn right like you can still see some of the red in that this is barn siding as well this is made from like um, some lumber we got in Sacramento from a tree that fell but it just has crazy figuring to it this one's actually this one's made out of wine barrels. So we take strips of these, like the red in that is literally the red from the wine. The red from the wine. I'll show you those stacks too. Awesome. But we're gonna start making a lot of those. A lot of those. Uh, and that's just so. All of these, it's just like you were saying on the phone. The two layers are the is the reclaimed. Uh huh. Board, and then the, is it five? Still it's five, there's right? there's seven there's seven ply skateboards. Right. So the the five core pieces are just maple. Mm -hmm. We do our own veneers out of reclaimed wood. Right. Um, better to put a story somewhere, in it or you know, yeah. on the outside is better actually. But you know, skateboards are. If we put cracked wood, cracked old wood on the insides, it yeah. just like fall apart. So it's got to yeah. have some structural integrity. But even yeah. that stuff that we use is like, you know, responsibly harvested. Right. Uh, I don't want to say lumber, but it comes from plantations. So yeah, and is that U.S. or yeah, Canada? it's all Michigan wood. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. Is like you know, if if I'm ever in a situation where like I need to buy something new, which is very rare. Cause yeah. I'm, like I saw yeah. not everything new, but USA made. It's like the next USA yeah. because you know we have this thing called a bad economy right now. And yeah. The best thing we can do is. I mean, obviously, look at our, you, you look at our logo, it, it just means like, you know, we're made here. Like, right. we source everything here. We try using the most, you know, eco-friendly materials possible. Yeah. Um, you know, the glue, the maple, yeah. the reclaimed wood on the outside. It's like, that's, you know, even the finish that we put on it, it's like. And I mean, no one else is water -based. doing this. No. You know? And the skateboard industry is huge. Yeah, I mean, even even like there's people who use like pretty eco-friendly glue glues these days, right? You know, mainly because they kind of have to. But even finishes are just solid-based, toxic finishes. But we just use water-based finishes, and they work fine. Yeah, and you're not using toxic graphic design. Yeah. You know, the printing on the bottom. Exactly. Even 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 when we even when we print. Like on this one, these are made out of hickory. Do you do burning? We do some burning. Yeah. Um, burning t 
tends to delaminate board sometimes if we're not careful. So you have to kind of okay. do it before. And doing it before um, is hard to place in for the pressing. Yeah. So we got into silking, like silk screening them. Um, and that's even a water based finish on that. Um, and these are just some of our decks. You can see some of the wood on them. Just like nail holes. I'm guessing you'll come across that's some. A nail. That's some a nail. That's a nail. That's a nail. That's a nail. This is a nail? Yeah, that's oh. from a nail hole. All that oxidization on there. Have you done anywhere like somebody had carved their name into the side of a bar? No, I haven't found that yet. Okay. I don't think I don't know if I would put that on a skateboard. I'd probably just like throw it on my wall or something. Right, because that would be you know. Or I might throw it on a skateboard on a wall. But like even all those black marks. Nails from a barn, you know. Right. Yeah. It's time we go back through everything that we once knew. It's time we look back into the eyes of all we've left behind.